Hi, Psych2Goers. Have you ever wondered about your level of emotional maturity? Emotional maturity is defined as a high and appropriate level of emotional control and expression. Perhaps you're curious whether you have the emotional and social skills to relate to others. Maybe you want to assess your empathy towards yourself and others. If so, let's begin. There are no right or wrong answers. Pick the letter that resonates with you the most and then record each letter. Try to be sincere in your answers. Number one, how often do you regard yourself as a worthy person? A, always. B, mostly. C, uncertain. D, sometimes. Or E, never. Number two, how do you feel when people say bad things about you? A, always feel bothered. B, mostly feel bothered. C, I don't know. D, sometimes feel bothered or E, never feel bothered. Number three, what do you think about your attitude towards yourself? A, I always have a positive attitude towards myself. B, I mostly have a positive attitude towards myself. C, I don't know. D, I sometimes have a positive attitude towards myself. Or E, I never have a positive attitude towards myself. Number four, how aware are you of your strengths and limitations? A, always, B, mostly, C, uncertain, D, sometimes, or E, never. Number five, what is your reaction when you face emotional discomfort? A, I always try to find the cause of it. B, I mostly try to find the cause of it. C, I don't know what my reaction is. B, I sometimes try to find the cause of it or E, I never tried to find the cause of it. Number six, do you generally think from others' points of view? A, always, B, mostly, C, uncertain, D, sometimes, or E, never. Number seven, do you take responsibility for your personal performance? A, always, B, mostly, C, uncertain, D, sometimes, or E, never. Number eight, Imagine yourself in a stressful situation. Do you A, always stay calm, B, mostly stay calm, C, I am unsure what I will do in that situation, D, sometimes stay calm, or E, never stay calm. Number nine, you clearly understand the emotions you go through. A, always, B, mostly, C, uncertain, D, sometimes, or E, never. And finally, number 10, to attain your goals, you, A, always channel my emotions appropriately, B, mostly channel my emotions appropriately, C, I don't know what I'll do, D, sometimes channel my emotions appropriately, or E, never channel my emotions appropriately. Have you completed answering the questions? Let's calculate the score. For every A answer, give yourself five points. For every B answer, four points. For every C answer, three points. For every D answer, two points. And for every E answer, one point. Add up your points, and the higher your points are, the higher your level of emotional maturity. If you got 41 to 50 points, you process an extremely high level of emotional maturity. You have a remarkable ability to sit with your pain and stay with the discomfort until you can identify your emotions. When you have made mistakes, you own them and find ways to rectify the situation. You always know how to put yourself in someone else's shoes and show empathy. If you scored 31 to 40 points, you have a high level of emotional maturity. In most situations, you validate your emotions and resist the urge to ignore or get rid of them. Most of the time, you take responsibility for what you've done wrong and try to make up for it. Seeing from other people's points of view is often easy for you. If you scored 21 to 30 points, you have a moderate level of emotional maturity. You find yourself being able to control your emotions in some situations. Furthermore, you find that you sometimes relate and understand people who have different perspectives than you, but at other times you may struggle in doing so. If you scored 11 to 20 points, you struggle to make sense of your feelings and find them too overwhelming to deal with. 
you may find it difficult to admit to your mistakes or apologize for them. You also tend to think from your own perspective and may have difficulty seeing another person's perspective. And if you scored one to 10 points, you struggle to regulate your emotions. You may lack emotional and social skills and have trouble relating to other people's experiences. You dislike compromise and always wanna have your own way. So what's your level of emotional maturity? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, emotional maturity is always an ongoing process. It isn't a situation where one reaches a certain level of self-understanding once and then remains static throughout life. Not everyone can display emotional maturity in all situations. The most important thing is to be self-aware and strive to improve every time. Did this video provide some insight? If so, don't forget to leave a like and share with a friend. As usual, all references are in the description below. Until next time.